Python. We're gonna kick things off real quick here with a primes test. What the heck is a primes test? You've never done primes test on this channel? Well, this is new. We're gonna do a couple of new things today. So buckle up. I've got the M2 MacBook Air right here. I've got the M1 Max MacBook Pro, M2 Pro MacBook Pro, and the M2 Max MacBook Pro. Here is Plumber Software's GitHub repo. Dave Plummer, he has a YouTube channel. He's done a video on racing languages before, and that's what we're borrowing from. But I'm only going to race Python in this case. I'll link to the repo down below in case you're curious and you want to run this yourself. So what do you do here? You basically clone the repository and then you follow the instructions on how to run it. If I want to run all the languages, I just type in make. Now there's some prerequisites that you need to install in order for that to work. And that's all in the instructions. So you can take a look at that. But I don't want to run all the tests. I want to run one particular test. So I'm going to specify the directory of what I want to run. And I want to run primes and Python. And there's three different solutions here. So I'm going to kick it off real quick, have it start, and then I'll explain to you what this does. All right, let's uh, let's get this numbers in here. Now this is going to calculate primes for one to a thousand and you can compare each algorithm like solution one, solution two, solution three, and you can compare them on different machines as well. We already got some results nice and quick. On the M1 Max, we've got passes per second. This is the result and we've got a total of 42 passes done in five seconds. Each one of these tests, by the way, takes five seconds to do, which is really cool because you don't have to wait a long time to do it. So we see how many times we can generate primes from zero to a thousand from one to a thousand in five seconds. And this one does it 42 times. We also get a passes per second value, which is 8.3 on the M1 Max. Then on the M2 Pro, slightly better score, 44 passes. So we get a 8.7 as the score. The next one is actually the MacBook Air M2. It did better than the M2 Pro, 46 passes, 9.01 passes per second. And finally, we have the M2 Max, 47 passes. They're all very close folks very close and notice one more thing these are all single threaded tests so there's also solution two here which i'm gonna run so let's run solution two and have a look at that one as well now if i open this up in visual studio code you can actually have a quick look at what these are so here's prime python there's solution one solution two solution three and you can take a look at the algorithm and the code is right there this is implemented in many many different languages you can take a look at how this does it cool what's the result this time it's a little bit different even though this is a single threaded operation the m1 max actually did pretty good this time on this algorithm it also tells you that depending on what algorithms you're running you're going to get different results this is in your own real world applications so we have uh, 8700 25 passes on the M1 Max, 8,202 passes on the M2 Pro, 8,737 passes on the M2 Max. That's the winner, but not by a long shot. And uh, the loser here is the M2 MacBook Air with 7,471 passes. If you go to openbenchmarking.org and look for Pi performance, you'll see the most popular tests there and what their scores are. Here's some examples right there. Go, Python Startup, JSON Loads, Django Template, Ray Tracing, NBody. NBody is one I've run separately here. Regex Compile. Uh, we're going to take a look at that one in more detail. But it also has a listing of results that people had with different processors. There's Intel Core i9, 13th generation, doing pretty well. There's Apple M2, not too far behind. We're going to see what result we get here. Apple M1 is a little bit after that. What's not here is the M2 Pro and the M2 Max as the results. We're going to find that out right now. And by the way, this is the regex compile table. There's tables for all the other results here as well. You have to dig through it, but I can link it down below if you are interested in checking it out. Or if you want to run this yourself, you can do that as well. Take a look at pyperformance.readthedocs.io for the usage and installation steps and all that. So I've already installed everything um, just to run this. You run pyperformance run. I'm going to give it the dash F flag, which is the fast mode. Uh, so this should take only about 30 seconds to run, whereas the full test runs test multiple times. I just want to get a basic idea of how these machines compare, not necessarily how different versions of Python compare to each other, which is what this test is really about. And I'm going to output it to a, a JSON file as a result. All right. Let's go. Now, while it's running, I want to tell you about 
high performance. Basically, this is a project that's intended to be, I'm, I'm reading from the thing, uh, from the homepage. You can read it too if you want, but I thought, I, okay. The Pi Performance Project is intended to be an authoritative source of benchmarks for Python implementations, comparing 3.6 to 3.8 to 3.9 to 3.10 through 3.11, and also CPython versus PyPy, things like that. We're gonna get results for CPython. And we have some results already. Nice. This actually is going to list all the different tests that it does, and it just spits them out on the screen, but it also saves them into the uh, JSON file. Here's an example. This XML eTree process, that last test, because it starts with an X, it's, the la it's alphabetical, 44.7 milliseconds on the M1 Max, and the M2 MacBook Air does better than the M1 Max, even though it's an Air, it has 41.1 milliseconds for that particular test. And this tells me that it's, again, a single-threaded test. We're gonna get to a multi-threaded test momentarily. 41.0 on the M2 Pro, beating out the M2 Air just by a little bit. And the M2 Max gets 41.5 milliseconds, which is just a tiny bit slower than the M2 Pro. Minor differences. Now, what you can do is actually take the resulting file. I'm going to copy it from here and I'm just going to put it on this machine next to the uh, other result that I got. Here are my two results from those two machines and I can bring these over as well. But what we can do is now do a comparison. So we can run this PyPerf program and we can do compare those two results in a table. And this is what it's gonna display as. So it's gonna display which one is faster. In this case, the second one is faster. So if we find the header, you'll see that um, this one is the result for the M1 Max. It gives you the time in milliseconds for each test. And this is the M2 Air. They're all comparing Python 3.10 and C Python is the version they're comparing, the implementation. You can see that the M2 Air is faster in pretty much every instance, except for where things are multi-threaded potentially. So here's a deep copy memo that is potentially multi-threaded because the M2 has eight cores and the M1 Max has 10 cores. Let's find that one that we were looking at on the website, which is regex compile. And there it is. The M1 Max can do this regex compile in 93.1 seconds and the M2 88.8 seconds. If you go back here to open benchmarking results, the fastest one they have is Ryzen 5 7600X six core machine that can do that in 78 milliseconds. That's much faster. And we are down here, Apple M2, Two, so they have 105 milliseconds, but I got a score of 88 on mine, 88.8. .8. My result is way better than the one they have listed here. My result is actually equivalent or about close to the Core i9 12th generation. This is the 12900K, which is a nice processor, but that's just the M2. Let's have a look at these new chips, uh, the M2 Pro and the M2 Max. Okay, so actually the fastest one was M2 Pro with 87.5 milliseconds for the regex compile test, and the M2 Max did all right, 89.5 milliseconds. They are all kind of close together, and that's because it's a single core test, and all these are using the new M2 cores. And the difference between these is that M2 MacBook Air has eight cores, M2 Pro has 12 cores, and the M2 Max has 12 cores. The cores are the same, but it's not really helping it out in this particular test. Let's go to my Mandelbrot test. This is the test that I usually do on this channel to show off the multi-threaded Python implementation. And if you're curious about where I get this one, this is on Benchmarks Game, and you can find it uh, as well. I'll link to it down below. And here you have different languages and different implementations. And we're doing Python, and we're gonna be doing Mandelbrot right here. Mandelbrot was a mathematician that created the fractal pattern. So this is gonna simulate that, that algorithm in Python. And I like this test a lot because it maxes out all the cores all at once. The temperature is going to go through the roof and it's just going to be craziness all over the place here. Now to run this test, I'm going to give it the time command so we know how long it takes. And then Python and then the name of the file that we're going to run is just in one single file. And then the parameter, they recommend 16,000. So that's what I'm going to go with. Also, this program spits out everything to the console. I don't want to see that. So I'm going to send that out to dev null. Now to execute this test, I've invited my friend, the Schwarzenegger. It's a machine after all. Once I press that big red button, the test is gonna be rocking. So I'm all set up for this. All I gotta do is just press that big red button and let's go. <laughs> and we're off. 
is running. Let's see how long this takes. You can see that the temperatures on that MacBook Air have really kicked up quite a bit. We're up to 108 degrees. I am gonna need to plug it in because uh, it's running low on juice. But whether you plug it in or not, uh, it doesn't matter for performance on Macs. I've already proved that on this channel. You can see that video. This one is interesting. This uh, M2 Pro is still stuck at 107 degrees. All the other ones have stopped and cooled down, but this one is still 107 degrees and the test is not running anymore. So what's going on? Some kind of bug? <laughs> I don't know, why is that temperature so high? Maybe it's the bug in the, in the software that's reporting the temperature, not sure. But here is the result. And this makes it super clear what's happening because we've got multiple cores working on this Python program. And basically the more cores you have, the faster you're gonna execute it, obviously. The loser here is the one with eight cores, the least amount of cores, and that's the M2 MacBook Air, 49 seconds to execute that test. Then the one with 10 cores is the M1 Max, 32.4 seconds. The two winners are very close to each other. M2 Pro, 27 seconds, 27.12, and M2 Max 27.110. Seriously, why is the temperature stuck? Let's turn that fan on and see if that helps. I might need to reboot this thing. Ah, there's that fan. Okay, if you like this video, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. It really helps the channel out. And consider subscribing to see more things like this. More, uh, uh, you'll see more of the Schwarzenegger. <laughs> Thanks for watching, folks, again, and I'll see you in the next one. I'll be back.